Y'all ever heard of that, you know, like, riddle saying that, you know, if you pass, okay, you know, they're like, so you were, in, you, so you were behind second place, and then you pass second place, what place are you in? You're in second place, because you passed second place, that makes you second place, because you're behind second place. You're not, and if you pass first, then you become first. But you know, th there's a meaning that I learned a couple of hours ago. A deeper meaning. There's this version where basically, if you pass last place, what place are you in? You're in last place. But I thought about this. If you are in last place, you're in last place. So you can never really pass last place. You can never pass last place. So it really means that no matter how hard you try, if you're trying to pass last place, you can never pass last place because last place is you. It's like you're trying your hardest to beat yourself. It's weird. And also, I thought, also, yeah, this may be the theory that you don't teach, uh, but, you know, I also thought about, is, if life is, like, a race, now, you would say, like, which part is a race? Well, life is, like, a race, but not in, like, start to finish, like, oh, the beginning of the race, you know, it was like when you're born and at the end of the race is when you die. No, I'm thinking player wise. So, like, first place is the, when you're born, but in the second place is like when you've ever been born for about a month and so on and so on. And, like, for how many years you've lived, it's how many players there are. Let's say. Somebody went to was on the 80 cent player, but well, that was the last player. You think about it, the last player is your last year in your life, and once that last player reaches the end, that means that was the last year you were alive. That means that you, you were dead. You know, and I thought about that, but also in another way, if life was a race in, in another way. If you've always tried to achieve from like last, but kept going to first, how much of your life are you going to waste trying to be first, then accepting what place you're in? You think about that? Because people try so hard to be first in life or try to be the best one in life. But is it really worth it? I mean, how much time in your life are you wasting to become the best person when, in reality, nobody cares? Nobody cares about you, who you look like. Well, a lot of people care about you look like. But nobody cares about how smart you are or cool you are or whatever, you know. It depends on what you think. If you want to look like a slob or like some weird child or you want to look... Or you want to be a power team. Or you want to be extreme. That's your decision. Don't let somebody else phase you in that. You know. Like. If you want to be a. Uh, therapist. Or you want to be an engineer. Or you want to be a doctor. Go for ahead. Don't have people. If people say that. No you don't have equipment to be a doctor. Or you're not that smart. Like that, ignore them. Because. Eventually in their timeline. They probably will have to meet you later in life. If you're a therapist. They may have to come to you to get some counseling. And then you'd be like, I guess what? I became a therapist. Now you need my help. You know, or you become a doctor. See, later in life, they may say that you're stupid, retarded, or whatever. But later in life, they eventually will need your help. Think about that. You become an engineer, they eventually need your help to fix the piping. Or they're electrical. And then you kind of make a decision. Should I help them? They've ruined my life so entirely, like, why should I help you? Like, eventually, life, you, haters usually have to become the receivers. Like, they give out so much hate, but then eventually, they had they will have to receive their hate back to infect that they will need your help later in life. What do you think about that? No, just some 
things that popped in my head again. All right, you know, you know, I may be going for weekly videos. I don't know. See you. And also, happy Black, well, in celebration to Black History Month, which, by the way, before I say anything, I'm black, so, I don't get what Black History Month is, yeah, I'm gonna rant for, for a few more minutes, yeah, I don't know what point of Black History Month is, it's, it's kinda stupid to me, you know, but th that's just me, that's my opinion, if, if you don't like it, then just, you don't have to watch this part, I'm just saying, this is my opinion, but before I end this video, there actually has been a couple of things I've already thought of, so, you think about it, bullies have been the causing of so much pain to other students, but if you think about it, who started the bullying? If a school had no bullies, but then a bully appeared, how did the bully appear if nobody's been bullied? You know what I mean? Like, what is the point of bullying? Like, I know it's really stress, but like anger and frustration on people. But like, why? The bullies not know that bullies technically take lives. Like, bullies are technically murderers. Because eventually that person is the, like three things usually happens when a bully when a bully bully or bully students for a long period of time. Th three things usually happen: either one the student kills himself, which is like usually suicide. That's what they usually do. Or two, or no, or two, they become so aggravated that they eventually make themselves so strong that basically they can beat up the bully. Like that's like the second one, or they become like a lethal. Killer, a boxer, a person who basically was going to beat up the bully because they, they're they're tired, like they're tired of this person. You know, it's like you know, what? shut up, I'm done. Or three, school shooters because sometimes a bully can pesterize a person so many times that instead of you know, like bu like instead of becoming bullied, they become a school shooter because they didn't say instead of like you know taking the frustration on students, they rather take their lives like. Bullies are like bad people, you think about that? Because bullies could turn a student into a school shooter, and then that school shooter could take the lives of others, you know? Like, bullies are messed up. Like, if you got some frustration, go to the council somewhere, because, like, you making school shooters pop up, and they put on, like, MC46, like, assault rifles, or, like, whatever, just pop it out the book bag and just shoot in everybody, take people's life. And you wonder, what caused this? Bullies. Because they're retarded. Alright, that's all. That was, that was my ransom. And I'm gonna call this a ransom of knowledge I have. Okay, bye. Peace.